Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a cool photo in which uh, a light comes out of your finger, uh, like so. It's kind of similar to ET, and uh, as you notice, uh, a cool red light's coming out of my finger, and there's a darker background. Uh, it's very simple to do this with GIMP, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, as you can see, um, GIMP is now opened up with my photo. If you'd like to open up a photo in GIMP, all you have to do uh, is go up to file as you can see file and then click open and select your picture from whichever document is is, is located first thing you want to do is select your ellipse select tool and go uh, up in the space above your finger not too far up above your finger uh, maybe a couple inches and then draw a box and in, inside of this box as you can see there's a circle and whenever you make the circle as big as you like it just let go and uh, what you want to do is fill in this circle with the color of the light that you'd like to be coming out of your finger so I'm gonna pick a red um, and I'll click OK now what you want to do is click on your bucket fill tool and click in the center uh, of your circle or anywhere inside the circle and it will turn it into the reddish color and it can be any color you want guys then go up to select and click none so you don't see the moving lines around the circle anymore and once you have your circle above your finger in your photo uh, you want to go up to filters go down to light and shadow and then select supernova as you can see there's a small preview window and um, there's a, a blue periwinkle looking supernova you want to use the X, uh, that's your mouse, and click somewhere in the center of your circle. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the red is still kind of revealing behind it, so you want to change the color of your supernova to the same color as your circle. So I'm going to select the same kind of red. Click OK. And now you can't really see the circle behind it anymore. Um, you can change the radius of the supernova to as big as you want it but too big is going to look kind of ridiculous and too small is going to look even more ridiculous so I would keep your radius at about 20 or 25 and uh, now uh, you can change the amount of spokes uh, it looks kind of crazy if you have uh, too many spokes so keep the spokes uh, at around 100 um, that's pretty much the normal size and then if you click OK, uh, your supernova will be drawn onto your picture. If you don't like the way it's positioned, you can just click Control Z to undo it. Go up to Filters and then click Reshow Supernova. I'm going to move it a little bit to the left. Click OK again. And then uh, if you like it, uh, what you want to do now after you've created the light above your finger is uh, you can make the background darker it's very simple to do that just uh, if you want to make the background dark like in my photo go up to colors and click brightness and contrast now you want to pull down your brightness uh, to as dark as you'd like it I'll keep it at around negative 97 and then bring up your contrast um, to as much as you'd like it at around 65 is how it works so uh, my picture was 97 for brightness 65 for contrast and it may be different levels for you depending on the lightness uh, the like the amount of lighting in the room in which you took the picture um, it may be completely different settings for you but um, I would just try around at those levels and work from there and click OK if you'd like it and if you are good uh, with the ending of this photo just go up to file go down to save as and then you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it uh, Finger Light Photo. Be sure to type in .jpg whenever you save it. Otherwise, it'll save it as a GIMP project. I'll save it into my pictures. Click Save. Drag quality up to 100. And then click Save again. So if you close GIMP, you can go into Pictures. And you can find the photo. Here it is, uh, the final product. Uh, as you can say, um, I'm going to show you the original photo so you can see kind of before and after. And it only takes a couple minutes to make a huge change in this photo, and it looks really cool, I think. If you guys like this video, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. I really appreciate it.
Thanks.